Hello everyone, I wanted to do a video to show several bags I have purchased over the past little bit. Um, I kind of decided to back off on buying so many purses and then spring came and there's all these new bags and they're so cute and there's so many prints. So hopefully I am going to slack off a little because I have a bunch of bags. I'm going to start with this one. This is the one I am carrying currently, and I purchased this at the Macy's Backstage section. The collar is a little different in person. It's more of a salmon collar, kind of pink coral, and on the camera, it looks a little different. But anyway, it has studs all along the front. Feet on the bottom, nothing on the back, two handles, a and a adjustable crossbody strap that is really long and really nice. Now the bag zips, and the zipper looks like it's metal, but I discovered when it's unzipped, the bottom of it's black, so it's plastic, and then the top is just gold to look like metal. <laughs> but that's okay. So, I have all my stuff in here. Get that candy paper out and that receipt. Let me zip my makeup bag just so nothing falls out. And it is pretty roomy. I did have this bag that I purchased at Walmart that has black cats on it. And it's pretty much the same color as the purse. So, it is pretty roomy in there. And what really caught my eye, I know that it is made a lot like the Michael Kors is it the Selma? Yes, I believe the Selma satchel. So that's what caught my eye because it does wing out on the side and it does have the studs. And people are already complimenting me on this bag. And I think it's funny because it was $19.99. And a lot of times when I get bags and maybe I think they're really unique or I've paid you know, more for them. And I think, oh, this is such a great bag. I don't get compliments, but then I buy a bag that's cheaper and everybody seems to like it. But I thought it was really cute too. And I like bags of all styles and all prices. So it doesn't really matter to me. This bag is a Kipling purse. I thought it was so cute. I love a flowered purse. This one has really cute small flowers on it. They're really bright, they're cherry, they're pink and blue and purple and yellow. And it has the little monkey, of course. This one is called Bustling Petals and it retailed for $89 and TJ Maxx had it for $34.99. It has a zipper on the back, a pocket on the front, a zipper above that. And then the inside has a zip wall pocket a divider, and then open wall pockets. I haven't really seen a Kipling that had a divider in it, but that's really cute. And of course it has the long webbed adjustable strap. So I really like that. Um, this purse I actually picked up at a thrift shop for tax and all $3.18. <laughs> and I brought it home and I washed it and I thought it was really cute for summer. I love a, um, like a bucket style purse and I really like it that it is woven kind of like sack but it's not like a cotton woven I'm not sure what it is it feels kind of stretchy but I thought it was really cute for three dollars see I like bags from everywhere this purse came from Macy's it is a sack this is the new, it's 30 years of craft. They made some bags to celebrate the 30 years. And this one I thought was really pretty. I like how the strap is and how it has this little fringe. And I like all the really bright colors. And I like the fact that the strap is also crocheted because recently they've been using the webbed straps and they have been using um, leather. So. Uh, they're good too. I shouldn't have made that face, but I do like them crocheted. Um, inside the bag has a wall pocket and two open pockets. And it has the 30-year little card thing in here that's sewn on. And the 
only thing that would improve this, I think, is a zipper. And it has a magnetic snap, which is fine. That's better than nothing. But I do like a zipper. This last purse I purchased at TJ Maxx. And now I know when I went shopping and I went into, let's see, Charm and Charlie's, the alarm went off. And I wasn't sure why, but now I am. When I left TJ Maxx, I did not set off any kind of buzzers. But look at this. I brought home a tag. That's just great. Anyway, this bag is by Cuba, and it is originally $198. They had it for $49.99. It says genuine leather. And this is pretty much just like, I didn't even know it, but it does have a couple of suede patches that I didn't notice. I thought that the whole purse was pebbled leather and smooth leather, but there is a few squares that is suede. This one, this one, I think it's all just this one collar. But I had a purse that was pretty much exactly this bag, but it was by Lucky. And I can't remember why I got rid of the bag. I had used it for quite a while and I do tend to get tired of purses and try to make room for new purses but the lucky purse did not have this divider right here this has a divided section which is a zipper pocket that was not in the lucky it was just one big opening so I do like that it has two open wall pockets and a zip wall pocket on this wall you can see the little zipper pull right there um, so that's really nice that it has that divider in it and it does kind of hobo down so that way when I have it on my shoulder I have a little bit more room. Even the strap is made the same. So it's pretty much a copy of the um, Lucky Bag. But this is by Cuba. So cute. I love a patchwork purse and this one's really bright and pretty. I love how it has turquoise and purple and red and pink and just all the colors. It's so pretty. So this is Kuba and I'm sure you've seen it at your TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This one was from TJ Maxx in the Kipling. So cute. And both of my stores, the TJ Maxx and my Marshalls only had one of these bags, only one and that only style. This is from Backstage, let me see. It had a brand. I'm not sure what the brand is. It's not in here, but it was on the bag. And then sack from Macy's. And this little bag from a thrift shop. And it does not have a tag in it either. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.